is that my like lose it is day perk nine thousand here. Welcome to a very fun Halloween special. We're back with another map custom map showcase. And hopefully, yes, there will be a downloaded in the description of this video itself this time. This time we are in a maze. The Corn Maze, to be precise, from FNAF VR. Chris is right there. Now, obviously I took my own liberties with this, and as you'll notice, it's not the most clean. It's a bit laggy. Not like crazy laggy, but a bit laggy because of all of the props. Now, this is the big thing. Unlike the last add-on, where I was like, oh, minimizing the amount of um, add-ons needed. This uses a lot of add-on content, specifically from Petrino's 1799's Halloween version of the FNAF like, furniture props, which just came out a little bit ago. And of course, Danny Fox's FNAF 4 add-on. So of course, you're going to need to check those out. But overall, this is a huge map. So what I did is I took a look at actual like maps of the one from Curse of Dread there. And I just kind of scaled up this big map here, as you can see. And I just kind of tweaked it a bit because not everything matched exactly with how the maps looked. So I added my own areas, did some of my own things here, but mostly kept a lot of the layout from the original map. Like there's the windmill and the water tower as well. Of course, there's the basement cellar in the front with got the four gates all around. And as you can see, tons of Halloween decorations. And even the cutouts. Now obviously this doesn't work like FNAF VR because of, you know, it's Minecraft. But you can pretty much go around throughout this maze, aha, and find a few Halloween themed friends running around. What you're gonna have to do is you're going to find these boxes, which unlike the actual game wouldn't be randomized, of course. The keys in them. Now, technically, there is no functionality with this. What you'll do is, if you just want to be cheap, you know, just get out the maze just for a first time, get the key, and then you just run out. See, this is the yellow gate, so the yellow key, which is on the opposite side of the map, to do that. Or, you get all five keys, and you head and go to the basement. That's how you win. Now again, because of functionality, the fifth purple key isn't like, oh, it doesn't spawn until you get all the other ones. It's here. It's just another collectible key added. And that is right over here. So I guess I'll show you some of the spots here. You just take a look at this whole map. This is the red key. You see, there's the water tower. A bunch of spiders, jack o' lanterns, lots of trees, vines, rocks, barrels, hay bales, anything. It's a bunch of stuff. Here's the green key. Showing out right down here. Let's get a little view in the map here. So obviously, you're going to be slow walking because this is in soul sand. It's going to make things a bit challenging. You don't have to hide as much. I mean, you can. You really just want to keep your distance from the characters. Specifically, our main attraction, Grim Foxy. He doesn't constantly follow you like in the actual game. It's only when you get close to him. However, the other three will be wandering around. I believe the yellow key should be around here. 
somewhere. Actually, it might be past him. Yellow key might be right here. Am I I'm correct? Aha. Yep. You can see, it's just a lot of things again will look similar because there's a lot of reused props all over the place. But it's about really navigating. If you know the map, you might just try to, you know, get all the keys and get to the basement as fast as you can, or just get one of the keys and get out as fast as you can. You can do that just for fun. Use this big, just up in areas here. I think it's like a graveyard area at one point. Some witch stuff here. This is the red gate. I think the blue key, which is our last key, is right down here. To, to ignore that. But yeah, this is pretty much the whole maze. And there's Dreadbear, Grim Foxy, Jacko Bonnie, and Jacko Chica in the maze with you. The goal is obviously to get all five keys and get out before they kill you. Which is a bit more difficult said than done. Obviously right now they're all just chilling over here, but as they start finding you, or you'll stop running. They'll spread around. And technically since this is an add-on, you could do whatever you want if you want to add the other characters from Danny Fox's add-ons. Like you just want to add other Nightmare characters. You could do that. What about like Nightmare Foxy or uh, Nightmare Fredbear in here? Go for it. I was originally thinking on putting in the other three Halloween characters. Uh, Nightmare and Nightmare Mangle and Nightmare Balloon Boy. But I thought that was a bit too much. Although, this is a big maze. As you can see, like, they're all crowded here. So that's not the worst idea in the world. You guys want to do that. Alright. And of course, back here. Yeah, that we the best looking. But here's... The cellar. The basement. Okay, we don't have the baby mask, we just got this bonnie bullshit. Two day bells, a little lantern, stuff like that. Yeah. Pretty much you won once you get down here. Again, this one's probably not as impressive as the others. It's just more for fun. You could do this with a couple friends, maybe. God damn, I just need to fix all this shit once this is over. <laughs> but I think next, we'll give you a taste of what one of the runs look like. Alright. We're in survival. We got our HUD down here. Let's go. Obviously a bunch of the tricky part is, you know, maneuvering around characters. And you're slow on here. Even with jumping. So keep that in mind. Obviously, it'd be a bit more difficult for other people. For first time players, I've obviously been playing this. So I know where all the key spots are. They've been testing like what spots would be good ideas to place them. But I think these are the best ones I come up with. Ooh. Uh oh. I don't know where the rim is. You see what I meant. Also, there is one other bad thing about this map. The keys don't respawn. Like, you take me and you only go put them back in their little chests. Which is annoying, but whatever. You know what? Screw it just for this one. There you go. You just have to see that. We're just doing it, so we're just going to show you what the rest of the run would be like. Anyway. I don't remember what direction I just went in. See, now we don't have a degree of Grim Foxy because now he's just going to stay over there. So, yeah, the idea of putting in some more of the wandering characters would be a good idea. Maybe in Nightmare Freddy or something. I think I'm heading towards the 
green key. Now oh, here's the cemetery. A little line of cutout over there. Just a bunch of pumpkins. Oh my god, wait, no, I found the blue key. What the hell? I am in completely wrong direction. Wow, that even happens. That's a map. If I don't even know this shit sometimes, trust me, this has got to be fun for new players. Okay, so that means the purple key and the red key should just be over that area. However, that's where a bunch of the characters are, so maybe I should just try to go get the green key. Which I know, right now at least, there is nobody over there. Apologies, you can hear how crappy my voice is. This may not look the most fun, but oh my god, this is, it gets tense sometimes. Very tense. It's just things mixed with other add-ons, like what would work best, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the FNAF 4 characters almost got replaced uh, by Danny's Ignited instead. But because they didn't work file size, at least for me, with the props, which were more important, that they were scrapped. I think they were a bit better working for the maze, to be honest. But, you know, that's fine. Oh boy. Okay, Jacko Chica is up on the wall. That's not fun. How did she get up there? Oh, maybe in one of the rocks or barrels or something. Is she stuck? Do I even dare check? She's just on top of this. Oh! Okay. Okay. Oh! Hi. Hey. How you doing? Okay, we're not making this one. Get out there. Well, you can see pretty much what it's like. Pretty much the core maze. You know, let's just go find one of them anyway. Screw it. Plus, we haven't seen Dreadbear yet either. Don't feel like about to place someone heading in the right direction. Oh, there's Dreadbear. Okay. Yeah, all right. Red key, where would you... Where is it? Wait a minute. I'm like, am I in the wrong area? But no, Dreadbear's over here. He's, he wasn't over where Grim was. Oh, God damn it. No. Alright, whatever. That's the corn maze, everybody. You guys enjoy. And have fun with this for Halloween or just whatever. And don't forget to check out my other maps. Yeah. Alright. Gotta go. Dave Dorinko. Peace out, everybody. Woo!